Hey guys, see who's awake at this time on a Monday morning. Who's ready for a big week? So over the over the weekend, I went up to Caloundra, and it was beautiful up there on Saturday. And I stayed at this place um, that pretty much backed right out on the water, and I was just sitting up there on Saturday afternoon, looking out over the water, and I started to reflect on my like the last six months and what I'd achieved and, and what I hadn't achieved that I wanted to. I realized that I hadn't been growing in business as um, and helping as many people as I, I would have liked to. So I started to think about how can I achieve more and do more and, and reduce the distractions over the next six months or the next year to be able to, to help to help to be able to help more people and to achieve more because in my opinion the secret to living is giving so that's that's how that's what I want to do with my life I want to be able to help as many people as I can there so I started to think of about how I can do this and I set myself this little 30 day challenge and I'd like to set it all for you as well so the first part of the challenge is this is a big one for me and it, and it applies for girls as well so the first part of the challenge is no girls or for girls no boys so this is a big one for me because I like to date, I like to see what I like and, and meet new people and find out what they're about and stuff like that. But at the same time, it has been distracting me from work and from helping other people. So that's the first part of the challenge. So I set that all for you as well and for girls. Obviously, there's guys or or girls, it could be girls. So whatever, whatever your personal preference is there. Um, second part of the challenge is no Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or anything like that, unless it's for work or helping you in some productive way. Obviously, you can still have um, Messenger because you still need to keep in contact with friends. I want it. That's that's important there. Um, and the third part is no TV and no movies. Now, with that, if you do get invited out to um, to watch a movie with somebody, like at the cinemas, then go for it. I still, like I said, friends are still important. But at the same time, you don't want to be sitting at home doing nothing, sitting in front of the TV and letting those dreams and those ideas that you have slip by and when you could be helping other people, helping improve your own life and um, making more of yourself. So I'd like to set this challenge for everyone and 98% of people, 98 to 99% that are watching this, they're going to completely ignore it and think shut up, which is fine, that's your opinion. But for the other 1% to 2%, I truly believe that if you stick to this and um, stick with it for 30 days and follow it 100%, you're going to help to increase your productivity and with doing that, you're also going to help just to increase your happiness because you don't have those distractions and you're progressing in life and I believe that, in my personal opinion anyway, you need to be, you need to be constantly progressing to be happy. If you're just sitting there in the same spot, and a lot of people have this, they get stuck in the same spot and they start to get bored with life and they're not achieving what they want to and they, their life isn't how they want it to, to be and then they just start to give up and, and don't really go anywhere in life. So you need to be constantly progressing there. So this is going to help you to get rid of those distractions and start progressing again. And another part of it as well that I want to set to you, the fourth part, I just forgot about it until just then, is to train or to exercise in some form every single day for the next 30 days. Now, I already do this, not trying to not trying to talk myself up, it's just setting myself a new challenge. So what I've set for myself is to train twice a day for the next 30 days. So I always want to one-up myself. It's always me versus me trying to set to the, ne the next level and I want you guys to try and do this as well. So not, not twice a day, just go for once a day for the next 30 days and just see how you feel afterwards. And um, you'll even just be able to see the progress on your body. 30 days of training every single day you'll see that weight drop quite drastically. If you're trying to lose weight, you'll see those, those muscles start to build up quite drastically if you try and, if that's your goal. So I wanna set this challenge for all you guys. Be that 2% that's gonna to listen to this and that's gonna to help to change your lives. And if you feel like this is gonna help somebody else as well, share it around and make sure you set that challenge for, for those guys as well. Now I've tagged, um, up the top I've tagged Hayden Welge and Cam Anderson. I don't have many single friends, so it was hard to think of some two, two people. But I want to set this especially to you two guys because I know you've both got goals and something that you want to achieve and distractions get in the way. So I want you to follow this as well. And for anyone else that's listened to this, send me through a message if you're in and um, even just circle the date on the calendar when it's going to finish or do something that's going to commit you to it so we can all help each other and keep each other accountable because I want us all be able to live the, the happiest, healthiest 
life that we can imagine. And to do that, you need to be able to keep progressing, give, give more, and just be happy with who you are and, and stop getting those, letting those distractions stop you from achieving your full potential. That's it for me, guys. I'm on my way into uni now, so I will talk to you all later. Thanks for listening.